We're moving in, but we've had ample sunshine, and this is helping to heat the surface, which heats the air. So this is why temperatures are very warm. Southwest winds also dry and very warm uh, coming out of uh, parts of Mexico. Uh, that's bringing in the heat. There's the trough we're talking about. Cold front to the north, warm air just moving right in. High pressure helping to bring that warm air into our neighborhood, and that's helping to trigger things. But here's what we're looking for. We are looking for a slight cool down as that cold air eventually makes it into our area. Temperatures in the 40s overnight tonight, northern sections. 47 in Andrews. How about 70s and 60s for highs tomorrow? 69 in Tatum. 71 in Andrews. And for the Central Basin, 40s for Midland Odessa. This is not bad. It's a comfortable start. And then daytime highs cooler, 73. That's still some great weather. Still going to look for 80 in Barstow. And for the Transpacers, looking at temperatures there in the 40s, some 50s around Fort Stockton. Daytime highs tomorrow, mid to upper 70s. We'll even see a few readings around 80 degrees. A little bit warmer as you head toward uh, Dryden. They'll see some warmer temperatures there. 30s in the mountains, but well above freezing in Marfa. High of 74 tomorrow. 83 in Presidio. 84 down in parts of the Big Bend uh, near Brewster. And for your seven-day forecast, even though we have 18 days left before we get to spring officially, this suggests spring is already here. Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, very warm. 70s on Monday. Slight chance for showers Tuesday. We cool down into the 60s Tuesday, Wednesday. But mm. upper 60s, that's average for the yeah. time of the year. Yeah. So. Winter is, appears to be long gone, uh, at least for now. It, it's, it's almost erased. Yeah. <laughs> we'll enjoy the sunshine. Oh, yeah. All right, Horace, thanks for that. Sure.